Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Zion House of Prayer Prayer Night. We are located at 4107 El Rey Road, Orlando, Florida, 32808. We have services on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., Fridays at 8.30 p.m., and Sundays at 10 a.m. We are going to begin with a word of prayer. Father God, we bless your holy name. We say thank you for being God. Thank you for sitting on your throne and being God alone. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. We honor you. We bless you. We say thank you for the word tonight. Thank you for all those who will be watching on Zoom, all those on Facebook, God. Thank you that Orlando is for Jesus. Thank you, God. For a privilege, Lord God, this privilege to inquire of you, to pray to you, Lord God, knowing that our prayers do not fall on deaf ears, but you are a mighty God. You are sitting on your throne. You are God alone. Jesus, thank you for giving us authority. Thank you, Abba Father, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for your mercies that are new every single morning. Thank you for carrying us this way, Father God. Thank you for every single soul that is watching, every single soul that is on their way here. We pray for traveling mercies, oh God. We bless you and we honor you. We just say thank you for being God. Thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your strength, God. Thank you that you are our strength today, God. We honor you and we say thank you. We bless you, oh God. Thank you for the word tonight. Thank you for every single person that is going to touch this mic. Thank you, Lord God, for grace. Thank you for utterance. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, lead us tonight. You are welcome in this place, Lord God. You are King Jesus. You are Lord in this place, and we honor you. And we say thank you. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, so I'm reading from Luke 18, 1 to 8. And it says, um, this is Jesus speaking to the disciples. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and to not faint, saying, saying there was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city. And she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, at least by her continual coming, she will weary me. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry unto him day and night, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Amen. Um, so Jesus spake this parable so people would always pray and um, not faint and to know that our prayers do not fall on deaf ears. And the unjust judge, because this woman just kept coming to him, was like, you know what, I'm tired of this lady coming to me. Let me just give her what she wants so she could leave me alone. But God being a, a just judge, God being a good God, a good father, he avenges us speedily. And sometimes we want, we think we want deliverance more than God wants it for us, but he actually wants it more than we want it for ourselves, if that makes sense. And I had a situation recently um, with my business. One of my um, cousins, one of my favorite cousins, he ordered, this is the first time he ever ordered something from me. And I had to ship it to him because he lives in Jacksonville. And I always ship things to people through a certain company, and I never had issues, but for some reason, this time around, his package never showed up to him. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is bad. This is the first time that he bought for me, and now his package is delayed, and he paid like over $100 for his product, so I felt really bad. And he kept, and he had a good attitude the whole time, that's why I love him so much. He had a good attitude the whole time, but he just kept inquiring, like, hey, have you heard anything? And I made a claim with the company so I could at least get refunded, so I could rebuy the product to resend to him. And it was just a delay. It was only supposed to take, like, 
two weeks. It ended up taking like a month. And I still didn't get refunded the money. So I had to take money out of my own pocket because I felt so bad to reorder the product and give it to him. So I was like, praise God. And it was just such a delay. And I felt so bad because I'm like, I really knew like he, he had um, issues with his skin. And he was like excited, like, you know, I want to get my skin right and all this and that. And I just felt really bad. So I was like, I took money out of my own pocket. I was like, I get it for you. Whenever they refund me the money, they'll refund it to me. And then God brought that situation back up to me. He was like, you as a businesswoman, imagine me as a just God, how much people are praying for stuff and they think that, oh, I'm delaying, delaying. And he was like, there's certain things that were out of your control in that situation. And I was like, God, what is out of your control? And he was like, first off, the, the will of man, like people's free will it is out of God's hands. And one example that he brought to me, like God always is doing something on the earth, but he does it through people. And one situation he brought up to my mind was um, Saul, King Saul. God wanted him to be king. God chose him to be king. But because of Saul's perception and um, and twisted view and what he felt about himself, it, the process got delayed and God had to choose somebody else, which was David. And God was like, I can't force people to do things. I want to work through people, but if they don't want to work, it's going to be a delay and I have to choose somebody else. But God always gives room for repentance which he gave to Saul, but he never repented. So God was like, just as you had things, you were working in the background, your cousin wasn't seeing it. Like, you know, that's not even though I don't see it, he's working, even though I don't feel like he's working. And he had a, the one thing I really liked about my cousin, he had a good attitude the whole time. And that made me want to give him the product even more. So I'm like, I was like, when there's a delay, keep praying, keep coming to God, keep knowing that God is working on the background, even though, we don't see, even though we don't feel it, there's certain things that happen that are out of our control, but we must be patient in the delay and know that God is working. And just as I took money out of my own pocket, God will provide. He said, I have provided. I know this when he picked David to be king. He has, He said, I provided for myself a king. So that was, I already have a plan, A, B, through Z. So God already has things like, I think there's a, um, Scripture in Isaiah, when it says, is the, the arm of the Lord waxed short that he can't deliver. So saying God will do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think. Yes. So I'm going to pray for those intercessors tonight, people that are praying, that have been praying for years for things to happen. And you feel like there's a delay. Know that God is working in the background. Know that God sees you. and He's a good, good father. He's not an unjust judge. He's better than a businesswoman. He's better than a good cousin. He's the God of our creation, and he loves us more than we can understand, and he is working on our behalf. So I'm going to pray that we take heart and we do not give up praying. We do not give up inquiring to our God that's a good, good Father. Father God, we bless you and we honor you. We worship you tonight. We thank you, Lord God, that you are a just God, that you are a good God, that you are sitting on your throne, Lord God, that you will do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or think or God. We bless you and we honor you, Lord God. Your word says that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, but you have prepared for those who love you, O God. We bless you, Lord God, even in the delays, even in the detours, Father God, even in the seasons of waiting, Father God. We know that you are working. We know, Lord God, that you are working on our behalf. We know that all things work together for good for those who are in Christ Jesus, for those who love you, Lord God, for those who are called according to your purpose, O oh God. We thank you that every single thing is working for our good, just as Joseph, Lord God, who ended up in prison and you risen him up to a place of prominence, Father God, just as Esther, Lord God, just as Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you, Father God, that your ways are higher than our ways and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Thank you that you are a good God, that you are a good Father, that you are Jehovah Jireh. Your arm is not waxed short. You are a mighty God. And we thank you for grace, Lord God. We thank you for understanding. Let us understand and know that you are God and you are rewarded to those who diligently seek you, Lord God. And no good thing will you withhold from them that walk uprightly, Lord God. We pray that this is an encouragement, Lord God, a reminder that we do not speak to a deaf God. We do not speak to a God that is not capable to do the impossible. We speak to the almighty creator of the universe, and we say thank you in advance, Father God. Thank you in advance, Lord Jesus. 
We honor you, we bless you, and we thank you for your word that is yea and amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.